Okie dokie. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And, um. Oh, and, uh, I, I have just woken up from, a, like, a 30 minute nap. So, still. I'm still waking up, still a little out of it. But, uh. Um, this time around, I thought I'd go ahead and do something totally different. Um, just. Like, kind of like I said yesterday, I'm just burnt out on. Burn out on uh, playing planets and the sounds they make, and and uh, trying to find a good, a good people watching video is pretty much impossible to find. You can never find the one I'm looking for. So, so this other this idea here kind of sprang to mind. Let's just let's just go ahead and do um let's just go ahead and do videos on natural disasters. Uh, this one here is it's going to be hurricane warning. Strong rain and thunder. Um, this is gonna really jack up the file size on these things, but like I said, I'm I'm pretty much out of options. So, but this is pretty much already in progress. I had a I had a fast forward of the, like like ten seconds because because it's just a bunch of watermark bullshit. You know the the like and subscribe crap. You know, or as as Emperor Lemon likes to put it. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe! So, I'm pretty much of that opinion as well, so I had to skip past all that. Oh, and uh, before I continue on, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy Peach Mango Flavor. So, get ready for some pops. I'm gonna have to. I am gonna have to sound test this, so just make sure it's not too quiet or too loud. Uh, I suppose I can turn it down. Okay, I'll go ahead and go with that. Or maybe not. So, looks like they're just going to loop this over and over and over and over, but... But anyway, um... Well, to start with... Just been playing a lot of, uh, Balloons Tower Defense 6. Um, uh, in fact, I even tried streaming it. And it... The results were the same as, uh, when I tried streaming it, uh, like a year, year and a half ago. Um, it, single player, it works. But, um... For multiplayer, the evidence is inconclusive, or results are inconclusive because there was no multiplayer. Like, uh, I got on, uh, uh, I tried streaming it, or I did, uh, I did two different types of stream. Um, I, I, uh, I streamed on Steam. I did a Steam stream. I didn't, I never know, uh, I never knew you could do that until recently. So, but anyway, um. I streamed on Steam, and I think um, one guy, I think his name's Jake Ryan, but uh, his name is like a mixture of like threes and E's, so it's kind of hard to, his name's kind of hard to pin down, but anyway, um, but he went by and visited for a while, um, I think I went on his, his Steam stream and checked him out for a while, uh, but but then after that, I did a, I did a, did an actual Twitch stream for about an hour, and I think maybe one single person came on it, but then disappeared shortly afterwards. So, but but then again, I do also have to say, uh, I did this stream at like 9:30, 10 p.m. So pretty much after everybody's gone to bed. So I might uh, I might end up having to do that here at some point, do another. Do another Bloons Tower Defense 6 stream. Like, like around 3.30 to 4 p.m. My usual, my normal time. So I might have to do that. But I'm, I'm still liking, uh, I'm still liking Slay the Spire right now. So that's gonna be, a uh, that's gonna be a tough game to, that's gonna be a tough game to quit right there. 
Um, and also, I um, I watched a move. I started watching a movie recently called Indie Game the Movie. Like it, it's a documentary about indie game developers. And um, it's really it was really awesome though. You get you, the they're uh, they're the creators of the legendary games like Braid, uh, Super Meat Boy, and Fez. I've uh, I've seen these games. I've watched them, but I've never actually played them. But it was still it's still great seeing the uh, interviews with these guys and hearing all the things they had to say. So so that was that was that was pretty neat. I guess uh, the guy who created Fez, if I'm if I was understanding him correctly. He became so obsessed with making the game that uh, his girlfriend left him. Um, his his other partner also left him. Um, and uh, I guess they pulled their funding. I don't know where he got his funding from, but that's just what he said. They pulled their they pulled his funding, so he's basically broke all because of this obsession he has. So. Oh, and and and, and also just like. Just like the pen, just like the pinball documentary special when lit, these these game developer guys, I actually find these guys to be more scary and intimidating than say, gangbangers or bikers, you know, you know they're covered head to toe in tattoos and piercings and they look like they'd kill you the same way they'd kill a fly or a mosquito, you know. For some reason, they don't people people like them don't really scare me that much. I think probably the the only reason that I could think of is the fact that their scariness is out there in your face. I mean, you know, I mean, it's out there. Yeah, they, they you know, they look psychopathic, you know. You know, it. I mean, again, it's it's out there in front of you. If you try messing with these people, you know you're going to get fucked up. And then they probably fuck you afterwards, you know, that kind of thing. You know, but these, um, you know, but these... These uh, game devs, these these people that I'm watching, I find these guys to actually be more scarier. It, but again, it's it's just like it's just like the uh, it's like the it's like the pinball wizard guys on Special When Lit. It it's like a different kind of scary. I mean, if you tried messing with these people, who knows what would happen? You know, it was something just it was something I'm you know something I've been believing for years. And I think, um, and I think the scariness of gangbangers and bikers becomes less so when you have shows like Breaking Bad out there. You know, and, um, and whatever other, whatever other, you know, gang-related shows that are out there. You know, that people are seeing on TV these days. So I think the, um, the intimidation factor of these kind of people is probably lessened now. I'm probably, and I'm probably one of the one of the rare few people that thinks this though. You know, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure if um, if some girls a little crazy looking biker dude was you know walking around in Walmart or whatever, people around would be like, oh god, oh, oh he's scary. But like I said, like I like I said a few minutes ago, it for some reason they don't. They don't intimidate me, you know. And again, it's not just some. I don't think it's just some alpha male, you know, chest bump. You don't scare me, fucker, or anything like that. It's just I'm thinking maybe because perhaps their 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 the intimidation factor is out there in the open. It's out there for all to see. I mean, if you try to, you know, if you try to, you know. If you try to pick a fight with, with like the guy who, um, let's say, the guy, the the developer of the game Braid, if you try, you know, if you try to pick a fight with this guy, who knows what's gonna happen, you know, and he's not gonna know either. I mean, you're putting him in a, you know, you put him in a fight or flight situation, who knows what's gonna happen, you know. He might see a might see a table knife or something, and 
you'll want to defend himself and it might actually you know, get good to him and he might just you know, stab you an umpty zillion times and then you know, it just won't stop and he goes on a murderous rampage, etc. And now that I think about that, um, I doubt this is true for 100% of the people, but I think uh, a lot of the serial killers, uh, Ted Bundy, maybe Charles Manson, um, maybe John Wayne, you know, John Wayne Gacy. Oh, what's the other one? The cannibal guy. Jeffrey Dahmer, I mean, from the, from the, you know, from the footage I've seen of these people, it, they, they actually look like they couldn't even hurt a fly. The only one serial killer that I can think of right off the top of my head that actually does look scary would be, um, Iceman Kuklinski, I think his name is, but even then, even then, I think he was actually a mafia hitman. So, it wasn't, so, I mean, I guess uh, when people when people found that out, like, you know, when he's part of the Mafia, yeah, they're going to keep their distance. So. And kind of a weird... Um, oh, how can I put it? Kind of a weird, kind of a weird tangent to go on, but uh, maybe that's why um, uh, maybe that's why uh, girls like maybe that's why chicks like bad guys, or maybe maybe that's why they like bad boys. Maybe because the uh, the scary factor is out there. Maybe they're the open honesty, for lack of a better phrase, is out there. And, you know, is staring at you right in the face. I, I gotta look at something real quick. Yeah, this this repetition started to drive me nuts. But like I said, I'm kind of out of options here. But, but anyway, um, I and uh, before I forget, before or excuse me, before I forget again. Um, I also even tried my hand, tried my own in hand and, uh, making a video game. Didn't get very far on it, though. I think I got as far as the, uh, the conceptual stage, I guess you can call it. Just write, just writing down all my ideas and whatnot. But, I actually, I uh, downloaded, uh, I've downloaded Unity, the Unity game engine. I tried, um, I think I've tried Unreal, the Unreal game engine. I think there was a there was another one I tried. There was another one I tried, but um, the moment I got to to right when I got to the the main screen, the main design screen, I was like, <laughs> I mean, uh, my mind was just a total blank. Oh, and uh, this is with uh, tutorials and uh, instruction booklets, by the way. Trying to read them. Trying to read them, trying to follow along, but I was at a total loss on this stuff. And, uh, oh, and uh, I actually was streaming this too, by the way. So I'm pretty sure I got a... Uh, I probably have some uh, stream vids. I probably have some stream vids of... Uh, floating around out there in Twitch, maybe YouTube. So... But yeah, I think I, I think I tried doing that at least. I'd probably say at least a couple years back. So, um, but otherwise, I, yeah, I think I've, uh, I think I've said all the things I wanted to say this morning. And um, since. Since again, since I'm using actual, an actual video here, it's gonna really jack up the file size. So, since I'm at a good stopping point right now, and again, I've said, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning. Um, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. 
and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, which will which will be the last one for the week, because Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, is my work week, so which uh, you won't be hearing from me again till Sunday morning. Or, but um, just to reiterate, yes, I probably I probably will be making another one of these tomorrow morning, but after that, you won't hear me until you won't hear from me until Sunday morning. Being a little wishy-washy right now. Um, but until then, though, thanks again for dropping by, everybody. See you all next time. Take care.